Okay, hi, this is Sandra Cohn of Sandra Cohn Photography and Little Bellows. Um, last week I posted a little video about how to use your light meter when working with strobes, especially with film cameras, and I got a ton of response, a lot of questions, um, mostly from film photographers saying, oh my gosh, I totally want to do this, but I work with vintage cameras, and so I don't think that they'd be compatible with my lighting setup. So what I want to say is they're totally compatible with your lighting setup, so let me show you how. Um, today I just want to walk you through triggers and receivers and how they work and how they work even with your vintage camera. So first of all, trigger and receiver, um, this is the trigger, this is the receiver. They are just the little doodads that you put on your camera that let your camera communicate with your lights. And um, nowadays we have these really great wireless ones. Um, before we had these, people used triggers and receivers, shooting film in studio all the time, and they just used a sync cord that would connect their camera to their light. But let me show you how these work. So there are tons of different options when it comes to getting triggers and receivers. I use the Pocket Wizard. Um, it's just a great little one that works for me. And with most, 35 millimeter film cameras or 645 cameras, they come with a hot shoe. There's a little hot shoe mount on the camera. So to use your trigger and receiver, all you do is plug your receiver into your strobe, set it to a channel. Um, I have mine always set to channel one. And then put your receiver, I'm sorry, put your trigger on your camera and set it to the same channel as your receiver and you're good to go. And it just slides in right like that onto your camera. Um, here it is with contacts. Again, there's a hot shoe mount um, right there. You just slide it right on your hot shoe mount. Bam, and you're good to go. With um, leaf shutter cameras or older cameras, uh, oftentimes they don't have a hot shoe mount on them, especially if you're if they're looking down. I have um, a prism on my Hasselblad, so I can put my uh, trigger here on there, but um, it's not enough because this is a leaf shutter camera. The shutter is actually in the lens and releasing the shutter is what triggers the lights to shoot. So for this sort of a setup, you need a sync cord. And all you do is you get a sync cord that will fit and you plug it in here in your lens and then you plug it in here in your light. And then you're ready to go. Um, I really recommend going into your local camera store and bringing your camera and say, hey friends, I need a sync cord that's gonna fit my camera, just to make sure it works. If you don't have a good local camera store, you can always like get called up the good folks at B&H or something, they'll help you out. Um, so now I wanna show you my Rolleiflex. So Rolleiflex, nice, beautiful, old vintage camera. Um, you can still use your studio strobes with this. It obviously doesn't have a hot shoe mount, because you're looking down here and it's um, a leaf shutter. So if you look here, there's a little place right here for you to plug in your cord. So the same thing, if I were to use this in studio, what I would do is have it on a tripod and then I could either put my trigger on the tripod and kind of balance it there, or, I could, or you could just dangle it and it would work as well. Just plug it in. Boom, Rolleiflex is set, ready to go. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have an older camera, you have an older set of lights, an older setup, or you just want to um, shoot tethered, that doesn't bother you if you have your cameras on a tripod and you're kind of staying in the same place, you can also get a sync cord that will go directly from your camera and plug in right into the same spot on your light, and then that way your lights and your camera can communicate that way. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it doesn't matter what kind of camera you're shooting, you can totally use studio lights with your vintage film cameras. Um, I always say people were shooting with strobes in studio long before there were digital cameras. And so pretty much any camera you have is going to be compatible with your lighting. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please just let me know. You can send me an email or a Facebook message. Um, thanks, have a great day, bye.